going to do a video on my skincare products today that I've been using for years. These are the same things that I use for years and once in a while I'll throw other things in only because I'll get a free gift with purchase or I'll go to Target and I'm like, you know what, I really want to try this today or my skin's feeling a little bit dry, let me go ahead and try this. So I do use other products but these are the ones that I keep coming back to and that I continuously buy. So you guys, uh, there was two ladies that wanted to know what I use and what my you know, uh, when I used it. So, oh, before I start, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on luxury goods, mainly on Louis Vuitton, and I have a few Chanel's and YSL's, and I do Tory Burch and Coach. Let me go ahead and show you the products that I use every day on my skin. I am 51 years old, and I, you know, try to take care of my skin, especially at this age, because this is the time when we start aging three times as fast. So, you know, it's kind of scary. So anyways, without further ado, here you go. Okay, the first thing I do every night before I go to bed is I take a shower and I wash my face. I don't ever sleep with my makeup on. I probably slept with my makeup on five times that I could ever remember. I don't even know if I remember five times. I'm really picky about that. I like to be clean when I get into bed, but I always use Dove soap. In the past 30 years, I use Dove. Dove is a very luxurious soap. It smells amazing. It's so good for your skin. So I have been using Dove uh, for years. And when I get out of the shower, there's a few products that I do use and I do rotate them. So one of them is a hyaluronic acid. And this is not the brand that I will use. I will sometimes buy it on Amazon. This one's from Target. I'll go looking for it at Ulta. So that's one of the things that I do use. And usually when I use this, I will use a vitamin C for my skin. So this one's from Ulta. Um, like I said, this is not the brand that I would normally buy, but I will go ahead and link these two down below so you guys can check them out. And then also when I feel like my skin's a little bit drier, I use rose hip seed oil. This is an amazing product. This is good for um, really dry skin. It helps with spots. It's so hydrating. It actually, I think it says it helps with acne as well and also eczema. It doesn't cure eczema that I know of. I just know it helps eczema. So it is the rose hip seed oil. Make sure you get the pure one. So this is an amazing product. Another thing that I've been using for, I think a little bit over a year now, this is something that you have, your skin has to get used to. It is rough using this. It is tretinoin. It is a vitamin A cream. It is so drying to your skin. The whole point of this is to exfoliate your skin and get that dead skin cell off to bring back your new skin underneath. But this has been amazing. I know um, underneath, as you get older, your skin or your fat underneath actually flattens and it starts going away and that's what kind of makes you look old. And this is supposed to help uh, actually uh, bring it back. So. I've been using this here and there, and I have a flat part on my cheek over here, and I think it's helped that. I'm not gonna say it's 100%, but it has helped. So here is my tretinoid cream. This is a prescription form. So when you're using something like this, do not use other Retin-A stuff at the store. So you, you gotta either use this or the Retin-A. Okay, and when I use this product, I will have to use the rosehip oil on top or I will use my facial moisturizer. This is something that I use at night also mainly when I'm using the tretinoid and if my skin's really dry then that's when I use the rosehip oil. Okay so that is my product and then here is the rosehip oil. Two great products you guys this is amazing. So when I use the tretinoid um, one thing uh, you'll need when you use something like that is something to exfoliate your skin because your skin just starts peeling everywhere, okay? So what helps is the Peter Thomas Froth. It's an exfoliator. It, this thing is amazing. I talked about this on, my, on a video before. I'll place it right up here if you guys are interested. It takes off your dead skin so you can literally see it rolling and you can feel it rolling around on your face. This is just amazing, you guys, amazing, okay? Not everyone needs to get something like this. 
Um, and that's what I usually use. But in the morning, this is what I've been using for years, you guys. I have been using these two products in the morning. Okay. Sometimes I'll throw on hyaluronic acid or vitamin C on in the morning and then put these on. But this right here, it is a facial moisturizer lotion. Okay. It's supposed to be used for PM, but I sometimes use it during the day. It moisturizes throughout the night and helps restore and protect skin barrier. It has three essential uh, ceramides, not isomide and hyaluronic acid. It is oil free. It's an amazing, it's amazing. And this also has the same uh, ingredients in it, except for the fact that this is a sunblock. And I use this every day. I use sunblock every day, you guys. I used to tan for years when I was younger. And also I lived on an island for 12 years of my life. I didn't even know I was this color. I thought I was brown, but no. Once I left, wow, I was shocked, okay? So anyways, in the morning, before I even put these things on, okay, these two on, I will use this rose water cleansing tonic. Whatever excessive, you know, eye makeup that I have or whatever to clear, to take off my um, tretinoid cream, I will use this toner to get everything off, and then that's when I apply this. And once I apply that, then I go ahead and put on my makeup. And you guys, there is a foundation or a BB cream that I talked about, and I still love it. And I've talked about it before. I will link the video up here. Now, this is for people that don't like to wear a lot of foundation, don't mind showing a little bit of their skin, but this right here, Oh my goodness, I love this glow lotion from L'Oreal. It is beautiful on my skin. It just has a nice, I don't know, when I wear it, I get compliments. So, but if I want more of a coverage, then I'll use this. I love this foundation, you guys. I don't know if you ever tried it. It is a satin finish. Uh, it's by e.l.f. It is amazing. I have two girls and they definitely agree that these two are amazing. My youngest daughter likes more coverage. My oldest daughter and I don't like as much coverage, but she's more of this because she doesn't like a lot of coverage. But she says this is an amazing, amazing, amazing foundation here. I think I'm wearing this today and a little bit of this on top of it. Once I finish my um, putting on my foundation and my makeup, I've talked about this before too. It is a Too Faced Hangover Spray uh, with coconut water and probiotics. It is. It smells so good and clean. I just spray it on my face and it feels so refreshing. It sets my makeup. It feels so nice. I love those. So, so those are those are the products that I use mainly on a daily basis. I switch it around, I'll you know use one thing and then I'll use another thing, but those are the main things. Once in a while I'll go to Target and buy other creams here and there, or I'll get a free gift, like I said, you know, purchase with makeup. So, but mainly that's, that's what I love. Um, I do also take vitamin E, which has helped me over the years, and that's supposed to help with your skin as well. So I've taken vitamin E, and I don't know if that's you know, that's helped me. Um, I'm not a good water drinker, so I've been dehydrated many times, so that has not helped my skin. It's probably dam I probably damaged my skin. And um, I guess that's about it. So I hope I covered everything, and I hope I helped um, the two ladies that was asking me about my skincare products. So I hope that works. And you guys, without further ado, oh my goodness, let me talk about my bag of the day, okay? So this is the bag that I've been using every day since I got it. I'll link the video up there. I am so excited about this piece. It is so beautiful. Of course, I've mentioned that I wish this was all in the front too, but um, I didn't want to let it go, return it, and maybe not get any of them, but I'm still very, very happy with it. If I want that color to show, I'll just flip it, okay? It's no big deal, I guess. And um, I wear it the majority of the time like this. But this is my bag of the day, and I am so happy with this purse. 
I this purse is just like a ray of sunshine, ray of um, rainbow. It just makes me so happy. It's like a magical unicorn or a mermaid. It's it's just such a beautiful bag. It is so pretty. Everything about it is beautiful. And of course, I told you I got this. I've mentioned that I've got this bag charm. Um, she has her own YouTube channel and she also has a website where she sells her bag charms. Lindy, I'll link her below as well. So here you guys go. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and be safe, be healthy, and make lots of friends, okay?